if you're given two triangles and you're told that they're similar. Here's how you read the similarity statement. Notice LM and XY are the first two letters in both triangles. These are the two sides that correspond to each other, LM and XY. And whatever the ratio is between those two sides, it's going to be the same as the ratio between every other side pair that corresponds. MN and YZ correspond to each other because that's the position they're in in the similarity statement. And of course, what's left? LN and ZX, those are corresponding sides. And the ratios are going to be the same no matter which two corresponding side pairs you compare. The distance from L to M divided by the distance from X to Y is equal to the distance of M to N divided by the distance from Y to Z, and that's equal to the distance from L to N divided by the distance from Z to X. Angle MLN, angle LMN, and angle LNM are the three angles of the triangle on the left. They correspond to angles on the triangle on the right, and they do so in the same order as the similarity statement. So the angle that has a vertex at L corresponds to the angle that has the vertex at X. Another way to think about it is to say, well, okay, take a look. LM and XY correspond. LN and ZX correspond. So the place where those two corresponding sides meet to form an angle ought to be the corresponding angles. And they are. And by the same token, the place where the yellow and green sides meet and the place where the red and the green sides meet, those are all going to be the corresponding angles. And they are congruent to each other. And these are the pieces of information that you are given by that similarity statement. That's what it means for two triangles to be similar.